Hi friends and welcome back to my channel or hello for the first time if you're new here. I'm Megan, nice to meet you. Today's video is going to be kind of like a stream of consciousness, webcam, chillax and with my girlies type vid. I hate that I just said that. Um, but really I just wanted it to be kind of more of a chill video. Also I've tried to film this video about uh, three times now and this is my fourth time and shit just keeps hitting the fan. Like a lot of noise is happening right now in my building and around my building and just everything in between and things are happening and so this one's gonna be the one. I feel it. But anyways, back to my main points that I want to talk about today. Um, I actually wrote them all down in my little journal here, or just like, not probably all of them, but you know, main ones, main things that I want to talk about today. Because this video stemmed from a lot of different things and me wanting to make like a bunch of separate kind of like ranty videos about like society or people or humans. And I just figured that I should just mesh it all together and make this. Okay, so first things first, the reason I wanted to make this video in the first place is actually from a tweet that is one of my fave tweets of all time, I would say, because it's so fucking real. So this girl tweeted, I'll put her at here. She said, no matter how awake, aware, conscious, gifted, powerful, and blessed you are, how you treat others is what truly speaks for your humanity. And I could not agree more with that statement, like, holy shit. So then once I saw this tweet, it got all of my gears going and I was like, you know what? This is one of the things, the, one of the main bullet points that I want to discuss today is people putting on like almost a facade for society, like saying that they're this great human and then you like actually get to know them and you're like, wait, <laughs> you aren't who you say you are. You know, it's like you're a phony. <laughs> um, so I'm just kind of tired of seeing fake people just coming across fake individuals. Even when you get to the root of them, you think and like start getting to know them, Shit just hits the fan and you're like, wait, <laughs> my life is a lie or your life is a lie and I'm noticing it. And then people want to get defensive when you like point out some flaw. You're like, wait, but you said you were this, this and this though. And the person's like, oh my God, no, I am not. I'm literally the opposite of that. Okay. And they get super defensive. And I'm referring back to a tweet again from my friend Vivian. She said, when you can see through people before they are ready to see themselves, the response is always defensive. But that's so fucking true. Like if you come across a flaw in somebody and kind of like bring it to light and be like, hey, why did you do this? You know, like, it's kind of a weird thing. The person will get so defensive and be like, no, I'm not like that, okay? I'm like this. And then they just want to like list off these characteristics about how, you know, great they are or whatever. And you're like, mm, I see through that, but all right. But I wanted to bring this up to kind of ask you guys the question, like, is who you are, who you are in modern day society out there to your friends, family, whoever, this face you put on, is that who you actually are when you're alone in real life? when you're, you know, being your truest self. Are those the same thing? If not, why? Why aren't they the same thing? You know, like what is holding you back from acting like your truest self in real life, you know? And when I ask myself that question, I think, yeah, I'm the same person that I put off not only online, but also to my friends in real life. I'm the same person I am when I'm alone, you know? Like I feel like my ends meet up, which is good and healthy. But then when I'm thinking of like somebody who is almost like putting on an act or whatever, or trying to, um, I guess like be someone else or be what someone else wants, what society wants, what they think is good and normal and how they should be. I understand why people do that because they fear rejection and judgment from humanity and just, you know, like humans are very judgmental people, I will admit. I feel like you have to almost unlearn judgment in today's society. Like when people are sitting around in group settings and shit like that, it's just always like at times gossip, gossip, gossip. Like let's talk about this person and just like drag them, you know? <laughs> um, humans love to talk about each other. That's why people put on facades is because they just fear society's judgment and like shaming almost. And then me talking about like societal shaming or me getting this idea in my head made me start thinking about, hold on, I have to burp. <laughs> but this made me start thinking about uh, the prison system and how the judgment happens in there. And that's something that I have never experienced, but I can only like empathize with. Like the way that you're treated, even in the judgment system before you even go in, it's just like public ridicule almost. My friend Finley and I were getting really heated about this the other day because um, we were just talking about like how judges kind of have no remorse in that aspect. And I, I realized like someone's got to do it, you know? But at the end of the day, what they're doing is like they're sitting there 
judging you because they're a higher being in society because like they went they got that degree they studied to like be a judge and have that title in society and you're just up there like okay please please just spare me this one time or whatever the fuck you know it's just like a weird like really demeaning process like i said i realize that somebody has to do it but at the same time it's like just more it's a judgment thing and it's so crazy for me to like think about like if I was in front of like a judge's podium I don't know what the fuck I would do man I would be oh so shook shook and like even when people come out of the prison system they still continue to be judged like when you apply for jobs and shit like that they're like oh you've been in prison okay we're gonna write you off you know like it's really hard for people to come back after that and like make something of themselves and it's just so weird because it's like we should be helping these people but instead we're like shaming them publicly and just being mm. fucking dickheads humans are such dicks sometimes oh my god and then the idea even more of societal shaming got me thinking about homeless people and I tweeted something uh, the other day. I'm just going to summarize it and not like read you the tweet because I've been reading enough tweets. But basically, in summary, I met this homeless man, Will, and I was downstairs in my building. Sometimes I live above a bar, so people like loiter outside and will kind of like panhandle and beg and stuff like that. And so I went downstairs because I had leftover pizza and I gave it to um, this homeless woman and this homeless man. The woman was just like eating really aggressively. And so then Will was the one who was talking to me. And I was like, what else do you need? And he literally just took like the longest pause and then grabbed my hand and was like companionship. And I wasn't expecting him to say that at all. You know, I was expecting him to say like a blanket or, you know, food or money or whatever. You know, I wasn't expecting companionship to be his response. And it just really like shook me up a little bit. And I just looked at him and I smiled while holding his hand and was like, don't we all, man? <laughs> Seriously though, like we all need companionship. We all need human interaction. We all need a friend or someone or anyone to confide in. Um, about just like how their day's going, you know, and just have real life conversations. And I see this so much on the street. I don't know where you guys live, if you live in like rural areas or whatever, but I live in the city and the homeless population in LA is one of the biggest in the entire country. It's fucking huge. I live quite close to Skid Row. And so that's basically just like a neighborhood that we have kind of like pushed the homeless out into. And I'm saying we as a society because we literally like are cleaning up the city, but in turn we're like moving all of them out and are like, no, you can't be on our streets even though you've been on our streets for multiple years, you know, acting like they don't fucking live here. And then that got me thinking about the mindset of somebody who like ignores homeless people on the street. And if I have my headphones in and people are just holding up a cup, I'll just give them like a nod or something or be like, no, sorry. And like, keep walking. Like I at least give them some acknowledgement, you know? Um, but I feel like a lot of humans, especially in downtown LA, and I'm, I'm sure especially in most major cities, just like, don't pay homeless people any mind. And it's like, what the fuck, you know? Like that is actually a real person that is asking you for a little bit of help. And if you can't help them out with food, blankets, anything, just help them out with conversation. Just be like talking to them as a fucking human, you know? That's, oh, oh, that was like the main rant point that I wanted to make because I just see it so much. And it's just really like, it just makes me sad. You know, it's like, are we really that big of dicks that we think we're so much higher because like we have homes? Like <laughs> all of this just got me thinking about real life fucking human judgment and how people act towards others that like aren't deemed normal, you know? And I feel like this happens a lot when it comes to people with mental disabilities or even physical disabilities. You know, people underestimate them as a human because they see them as less, you know? They're like just being judgmental and a fucking dickhead and like, oh, it's just, it really frustrates me, you know? It just gets me on, gets me going, gets me in like a you are better than no one type mood <laughs> because you aren't better than anyone, you know? It doesn't matter your societal standard like what the fuck what even is that who even cares you you're the only one who cares about where you are in society and like if you're good enough i don't know just unlearn judgment 2017 is what i'm trying to say mainly that's like my one fire point i want you to remember okay because i mean even in like high school settings or not even high school settings even when you're out of high school people still continue to judge even when you have kids you grow up and like people are just judging other people's kids <laughs> like it just becomes this whole big thing and it's like are we ever gonna unlearn that pattern of like I don't, I'm gonna reevaluate your life because I have nothing better to do with my time. It's like, what are we doing? What I'm really trying to say here is just don't actively try to be a dick, you know? It's like, it's not hard to be caring or compassionate or just generally nice, you know? It's not hard to be a nice person. We can all be better humans, okay? <sighs> 
stresses me out so much because I'm like, why is there so much hate in the world? And I would just rather it not continue to grow. It's like, we have enough of that. I don't think it's that hard to refrain from gossip about other people. Like sometimes in conversations, I just kind of fade out. I'm like, whoosh, it's where I draw the line. Okay, you're talking way too much about other people. It kind of makes me nervous what you're saying about me when I'm not around, you know? Look at people in your life like that when they start gossiping and be like, oh, do you do this about me? Shit. <laughs> start reevaluating all of your friendships. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to get you tripping. But um, really, I just think that there's like way too much gossip in modern day society and like, I don't know, especially out in LA as well. And it's just like fucking dumb. Why do we even care? I just don't even like, ugh, I don't care enough to like judge somebody else's life because that's them. Okay, now I'm just reevaluating that last statement because I was basically just like judging society in this video being like, why are people such dicks, you know? But I guess it's really reassuring to know that not everybody is a dick and um there's a lot of good people out there as well so i guess just like find more of those <laughs> find the good ones you know round it back to that i guess um but no really though it's like really nice to have a circle of friends who you know just get it and just can help you out rather than talk about dumb shit and bring you down i guess and i'm not trying to make this to be like oh my gosh my group of friends is so gossipy either because like i feel like i have a really good group of friends but i also feel like in larger settings it's just more common for shit to get thrown into the mix and then everybody starts like gabbing about other people and i'm like what is going on <laughs> what's going on you know so yeah i guess i'm just gonna round this out by saying be a better person 2017 um please I beg of you because we just need more good humans in this world and like I said I know there are a ton of you out there and a lot of nice humans are probably watching this video and I love you so much for being you you know you're great but you can never be too great okay keep growing keep changing keep going up there you know just keep spreading those positive vibes folks okay I said that in a real joking tone but seriously though more positive vibes 2017 I guess now I'm just trying to tie this into the new year which I should probably drop because you know the new year is ahead of us folks now we just got to start putting in work and stop talking about it so I encourage you to do that okay I love you so much thank you for letting me sit here and just kind of stream of consciousness rant um, I think I covered all of my points all right and on that note I would like you to go down into the comment section and answer that question that I asked more towards the beginning of the video like is the face that you put on for society equal to who you really are and if not why and I know that's kind of a deep question and kind of we're airing out all of our shit on the internet but sometimes I feel like that's nice because then you have that community of people who's like I fucking get it and you're just becoming your best self day by day folks I just want to stress that to you okay so never too late to change never too late to make yourself a better person what else do I want to say <laughs> I don't know I love you so much once again thank you so much for watching and letting me do this okay uh, I'll see you in my next video yeah thumbs up if you enjoyed this one subscribe if you're not already all right goodbye stay smiling <laughs> Nothing more that I hate in this life The wrong impression I only have one to make